Hello Python programmers. So this is a very different setup and a very different video. In this video, I'm going to review you these three apps which I like the best to run and learn Python. This is definitely very handy when it comes for the practice of beginners and intermediate. So actually I got a few messages on my Instagram and WhatsApp related to this topic that uh, how we can run our python files so how we can practice python on a android phone so this is for you guys and i like these three apps this is not at all paid promotion and this is my genuine review about these three apps first is pydroid 3 then solnia and then qpython so let's go through them one by one first let's start with pydroid so there you can see when we open this we came to a editor now let's try to write something here the cliche uh, hello world now it's completing also for us so this is good hello world let's run this and it is run in the terminal okay so this is good if we go to the option we have get premium uh, so what will be offered in the get premium one let's see now the basic code editor is in the free version also there are basic libraries okay so there will be libraries uh, some of the premium libraries added when you buy the premium one and there will be code prediction there will be code analysis and no ads okay so this is what the premium version will offer you so let's leave this for now let's go to our terminal and okay so this is your terminal from which you can run uh, your commands so we are into the python shell here now let's write the command hello not yellow uh, let it be yellow <laughs> hello world and press enter so we got this okay then we have this pip here now the libraries which are there in in all the mobile version are very limited there you can see these are the libraries present by um, uh, sdl2 this is the support library of pygame that you can run on the android platform and then we have a few libraries here okay so these are the libraries that you can install on this like uh, tensflow is present for only premium uh, and these are the few libraries that you can install that and you can see that it comes very handy now you can see that we have numpy and Kiwi matplotlib which is a substitute for uh, matplotlib and we have cpython, jupyter, keras, pyqt and we have also kinter I guess I have used kinter on this okay we have scipy, we have pelo, we have pandas there are almost every library which a beginner can use to polish his or her skills so uh, this application is good when it comes to beginners and intermediate but there is no tutorial for any python uh, topic uh, now let's see we have paste bin also here uh, basically paste bin is the space where you can just write your code and share this with your friends you you can just give the link and say that uh, that this is my paste bin link go and watch my uh, code and we have a few samples here like the basic sample we have hello world okay so we have a few f uh, samples so that the beginners can learn okay codes i guess let's see for the uh, numpy for the uh, numpy array track array okay so it will be extracting but uh, we have to install the library okay so uh, just a second we have to install the library for this to run okay so 
honest review for this application this is a good application when you actually know how the things work and you just want to practice on the go this is like you are going somewhere and you can carry you can't carry your laptop there so you can just practice on your phone this is really good for beginners actually so this was pydroid 3 and i would like to exit <laughs> okay then we have solenear now every beginner intermediate or an expert must have heard about the solenear app this is like this is like the king of all the programming related activities for Android. I don't know whether it's present of Windows or iOS, but uh, I know what Android. So this is very different compared to these these two applications, which is PyDroid and um, QPython three. Uh, the thing is this: this is not only an editor, but this is a whole community. You can actually and you can write posts, and there you can see that you can even write posts you can uh, you can actually a community and be the part of the community unity using this application so this is a very good application even i have created the account here yeah i have also created the account here. and uh, the only disadvantage that i found in this uh, application was that there is no pip present I mean you cannot install any package you just can work on the pre-installed packages and you can't work on Kinter you can't work on Kiwi and you actually can't work on the install libraries because uh, they don't offer this uh, so according to me if you want to learn then Solenia is the app for you and if you want to run your Python codes and you want to practice then i won't recommend you solenia because the editor is not that great so very honest review and now let's rush to our last application which is i have used this application actually when i was in class 11th i guess okay yeah class 11th i guess okay yeah i was in class 11th i have used this application and it's very good actually when it comes to uh, running your python scripts and there you can see the editor you can write your code here and you can run this from this play button and there are a few tools present for your help and then we have console just like the python uh, shell and uh, let me go back uh, no i don't want to run in the background and there you can see this is the community that you can uh, join basically and we also have some of the pre-written codes let me show you uh, where can we find those uh, just a second now when i was using there were codes in this section uh, i don't know why it's not him but okay now this is a very good application and it has many things that even i haven't used like uh, sl4 service and i really don't know what is q pi pi i guess this is the pi pi version for the mobile okay and there are many things here okay so this is also a very good editor if you are a beginner and you don't want to learn thing but actually you only want to practice so this is good for those and by this i want to con conclude this video and i only just want to say one thing that if you want to learn how to code and want to join a big community then solenia is there for you there are many courses present on the solenium that you can enroll in you can learn you will also get a certificate i don't know what is the value for that certificate in the market but uh, you will get the certificate and there is the basic editor also that you can use for the very basic programs like the even odd or prime number 
just like the basic ones but these two applications pydroid 3 and qpython are really strong editors you can even work on your machine learning uh, models on this i mean this would be a very big thing for the android but still they are capable of doing this they have the packages and you you can really use them there okay so these three applications and if you want to work on android then these three are best for you and if you have any other apps which are better than them then please comment down below i would uh, i would also like to know them so meet in the next video bye bye